Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning. Wherever you are, we are in Germany. It's Niners Chemnitz taking on Botches here at college. The FIBA Europe Cup final, the first leg. This is the road to the final. You can see that uh, Cerne Bobao, Casa de Montzaragotha, Legio Warsaw, Niners all on that left. And you had Bacchese here College over there with FC Porto, Varese, and Arad Nimburg. And of course, Bacchese here dispensing with Varese and Niners uh, getting past uh, Zaragoza and then Bilbao. And here they are getting ready to trade blows. So tonight is the first leg and then next Wednesday on the 24th, 6 p.m. local time in Istanbul will be the second leg. So it really doesn't come any better than this. Players getting into the final of a European club competition. It's the type of thing that you want to certainly experience in your life a chance to win a European Cup, a European Championship. And these two teams, uh, really, this will be effectively the first half uh, when you consider they're going to do it all over again uh, next week. And, and crucially, crucially, this is on aggregate. So uh, you never stop playing. No lead is big enough. Uh, you always compete and you play for every single second. You try to execute and get as much as you can, and, and you never give up because at the end of the day, it may come down to one or two points, and if you can look back and think maybe where you could have done something a little bit different on one possession, that can make all the difference in the world. But these two teams have done a fantastic job to get this far. Niners Chemnitz, obviously one of the uh, stories in all of European basketball this year with all the success they've had, not just here in the FIBA Europe Cup, but also in Germany. They've led the league for much of this season. And certainly right now, they're not leading as FC Bayern, but they are going to be heading into the playoffs. Uh, no doubt about that. They will be heading to the postseason there, but their, their focus right now is on this FIBA Europe Cup And uh, so is Bocchus here at college who won this competition not that long ago. You go back and you want to look at looking back at some of the history and you look at the title winners, Anvo Voslavic winning it last year from Poland. But before that, in 2022, it was Bocchus here at college beating Reggio Emilia. Fryport Skyliners won this in 2016. I was at that one, and what a fantastic Final Four format that was. They beat Opa Job Metis Varese in the final, and uh, that was the last German team uh, to win it in 2020 because of COVID. Uh, we did not have the final, uh, but Fraport uh, in year one of the FIBA Europe Europe Cup of excuse me the FIBA Europe Cup we go back to at least 2016 and Nanterre in 2017 beating Alain Chalon 2018 it was in Monterey Venezia winning the all-Italian final against Sidias Scandone Abellino Dinamo Sassari then another Italian team in 2019 beating Würzburg from Germany and from Israel Eroni Nesziona beating Arged uh, from Poland so when Bacchus here at college won it against Reggio Emilia, uh, they won that one on aggregate by 19 points, 162 to 143. Much closer last year, Anvil Voclavic uh, winning it 161 to 155. And again, that just illustrates how every single possession matters in these aggregate ties. Even closer with 2017, Nanterre winning at 140 to 137 on aggregate. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Niners, Chemnitz, their fans. Uh, this is just a wonderful place, Germany. Let's don't forget, this is the land of the FIBA Basketball World Cup winners. Germany uh, reaching the top of the podium and beating Latvia in the quarterfinals last year in Manila, then beating the USA in the semifinals, and then capping it off an incredible summer 
uh, by winning the final against Serbia. So everywhere you go in Germany, you just watch this country's uh, really devotion for basketball. You go to all of the arenas and they're packed. And, you know, talk about uh, the top flight and really good teams and in the second division. And uh, Niners Chemnitz, I think have kind of like shown the blueprint. Patient, you build it and you make smart acquisitions. You, you get a good coach, you stick with them, you stay with them. They have, and right now they are having arguably their best ever season. So they want to get that first European title. They want to get that first trophy under their belt uh, for this season uh, before heading back to domestic matters and trying to get things going there. And I'm really impressed by this team. Uguak, who just came out, Jeff Garrett has been outstanding. And obviously, uh, Van Wesley Van Beck is an explosive guard. And perhaps one of the unsung heroes on this team, Richter, coming out. And how about DeAndre Lansdowne, having been with Sig Strasbourg in recent times, moved back to Germany where he had played previously and has been just a juggernaut for this Niners Kimnitz team. Keja Kajami Keen, Keja Kajami Keen, the Canada International, and the pride of Kenya, Tyler Ongwe, comes off the bench and provides valuable, valuable minutes. So Niners Kimnitz truly, well and truly, have uh, put together a great season. But you know what? If they don't win it, uh, it's, they don't win this tonight, it's gonna leave them with an empty feeling. And uh, they definitely do not want that to happen, hanging over them uh, going into that second leg. They want to protect the home court. Dominic Lockhart, very important player, especially defensively. And here's Kevin Yabo. I think you'd have to say one of the candidates to win the MVP award this season in Germany for all of the, the great work that he has done. Rodrigo Pastore, the coach, hails from Argentina, used to play here, has a love affair with this club, and look at the wonderful fan involvement. And that is one of the reasons why German basketball is so special is the connection uh, that they have with the fans. These are not always the biggest arenas, but man, it is an electric feeling if you're one of the lucky ones to get a ticket to get into these games uh, because they put on a show. So Bacchester College coming into uh, a raucous environment tonight. And let's see if they get cut up like a buzzsaw or if they're gonna come out and really play like a buzzsaw themselves. Georgios Porcinitas from Greece, the crew chief, Fernando Calatrava on the left from Spain and Vidas Gedvilas from Lithuania on the right. So three excellent FIBA referees calling the game tonight. And we're just a couple of minutes away from the opening tip. So Niners Chemnitz, uh, you look at who's been getting it done for them all season in, the, in this uh, competition. And Garrett, uh, overall efficiency at 17, the highest. But first we'll look at botches here. College's starting five tonight. Tony Taylor, Phil Scrub, Axel Boutte, Tyler Cavanaugh, and Jerry Boutiel. Scrub. A member of the Canada team that reached the podium at the World Cup last year. Os, Mizrak, Baigul, Kel, Guvan, Arna, Jandan, and Yomas all coming off the bench. And don't think for a minute that that bench isn't important. It will come into play. Dandre Lansdowne, Dominic Lockhart, Aher Uguak. Again, very impressed by him. Jeff uh, Garrett and Usman Krubali in the starting five for Niners Chemnitz. Interestingly, the Yebo coming off the bench tonight. Kajami Keen, Ongwai, Kopka, Richter, Van Beck, and Gregory. 
also coming off the bench for coach Rodrigo Pastore. You look at some of the numbers, 91.4 points per game for Niners Kimnitz, 90.3 for Boxes here at college, that's second. And uh, again, similar numbers, and perhaps not surprising. I, I don't know how many people would have expected Niners Kimnitz to be in this final before this season. Probably Boxes here at college because they are past winners and because of who they've loaded up with would have gotten some votes, but last year, the German team did really take everybody, everything by storm. Ulm and also Telecom Baskets gone down. Radoncic, the head coach of Bacchus here at college. Interesting, their league form hasn't been nearly as good as they would have liked. And uh, with that in mind, you could almost argue this is their way of easing some of the pressure. They're currently 12th in the Turkish League, but just uh, a game behind Dar Shafaka, who are eighth. So that shows you how competitive it is in Turkey. So we're going to jump it up again. And we are underway. So it is Bachazir College with Butziel getting a, a tip for his team. And Bachazir College wearing the red, attacking the basket to the right on your screen. They're putting some pressure out on the perimeter. And the first shot is no good. Garrett with the rebound. Ugwak handles it well for a big guard. Now Garrett lets it fly. That's good. That's what he does. Settles the nerves. Although it doesn't look like there is any are any nerves for this team tonight. Now Botcher College already trailing three nothing. So the turnaround, Butziel misses badly, and Garrett with a second rebound. And the whistle blows. Foul has been called. And it's an offensive foul, so it turns it right back over. taking it down low and fouled. So Kruvali with the foul here early. Interesting strategy not to have Yebo in the game at the start. Butiel makes the first free throw. First point of the game scored for Bacchus here College. 
Watches it here went five and one in the regular season. Niners came this one all six of their games. And in the second round, Botches here college went six and zero, oh. and Niners Chemnitz went five and one. Then they got into the playoffs. Here is Garrett again. Boy, what did he have for breakfast? He has come out firing two three pointers already for Garrett. Boutte down low to Boutiel. Into the corner, Tony Taylor knocks down to three. Seasoned veteran, Tony Taylor. Here's DeAndre Lansdowne. Puts it up from deep, that's short. Now Boutte. Boutiel, backing up Uguak, passes it back outside. Kavanaugh for three. Off the rim and lands down, brings down the board. Beautiful find down low and Kruvali goes up and gets an easy layup. He was left wide open. It's almost like Botches here college just guarding the perimeter that time. Foul called, so good response. Niners Kim is leading it eight to five right now. Oh, so they have they counted. So they count the basket and Taylor gets the three point play. So the foul is on Lockhart. And it's back to eight to seven. So Tony Taylor putting his hand up and leading the way right now for Botches of Here College. Lockhart, nice feed down low. Kruvali. So a good start offensively for Kruvali. See how he contends with Butziel. There's Butte. Terrific against Vereze. Taylor dancing his way. Gets a little space, puts it up, and he is feeling it. Tony Taylor. So he ties it at 10. Point shot is good. Another one. Three threes to start the game. And this one was not Jeff Garrett, but Ugwak. I heard Ugwak. Keep an eye on him. He is going to be taken off big time. His career. Here's Scrub. Ugwak, also a Canadian, in fact. And here's Scrub, another Canadian. And the whistle blows, and the foul has been called. A long way coming into the game. Also, Wesley Van Beck has checked in. So. Two newcomers to the lineup, and Richter as well is in the game for Niners Chemnitz. And let's just see how this depth works. Could be an advantage for Niners Chemnitz. Here's Taylor. And Wesley Van Beck with the rebound.
Lands down, explodes. Draws the foul on Butziel. So Butziel not enamored with that call. Maybe if he keeps his arm straight up, even if he, he's not going to get that call, but he did lower his arms. And Lansdowne gets a friendly bounce. Lansdowne does not score the second, does not make the second, but the ball will stay at this end. Richter very active down low. That's now a good free throw shooter, 85.7%. Only gets one of two, but could be an even better trip if they can get a bucket here. Especially of the three-point variety, which they've done three times already. Here's Lansdowne off to Richter, oh boy. A couple of times, Chemnitz have just been left wide open. The double. Richter was amazed how open he was. So remember, it's the, it's the winner of the aggregate scoreline by the end of the second leg next week. So effectively, this entire game is the first half of this final tie. And the foul called. So Kavanaugh is going to go to the line. Chemnitz and Kavanaugh at the line makes the first very good free throw shooter 91.5% coming in and boy if that wasn't the jinx I don't know what is and back puts it over to Johnny Keane and Kavanaugh it's a back for boxes of here college. Excel Butte letting the game come to him, not forcing anything right now. Here's Taylor going to work. Bounce pass. Three-point look. Not there. Abo with the rebound. That was Kell missing that last shot. Uh, that was George Kell. And Richter really is such a hard worker. Intelligent player, finds space, knows exactly where he fits in with, with this game plan. Uh, Pastor is so, has such a good team. You know, he, he, he can have multiple starting fives. Really odd. I've seen this Kimdis team a lot this season. And tonight it was a different starting lineup. Go back outside. Boutte. Kavanaugh with the rebound. Nowhere to go. Good interior defending. Long way for three. That's how long way. Just an outstanding player and person. You know, his former Kenny national team coach Liz Mills just spoke with so much praise about his leadership. Here he is coming off the bench tonight, and Kell is fouled. So Butziel clearly 
fouled by Van Beck. The big man is always going to win that one. Uh, but it's actually Kel that was fouled as well. So Kajami King fouls Kel and... Also, Mohamed Baigul comes into the game. And this is the first and makes the second. European trophy at stake, folks. Won't be decided until next week. This is the first leg. Here in Germany, pass down low, and Debo is going to the line. We all know what, what is going to await Niners Chemnitz when they go to Istanbul because Bacchus here at college had some great fans of their own. So they definitely want to leave here with a, you would think, with a, a first first leg lead of several points at least, if not more. Devin Yebo makes the first. Because Bacchus here at college will be very difficult to beat on the road, on their home court. Yebo makes the second. Crosses midcourt. I will underrated player. Will not fall asleep on him. He will be with with his shooting. Here he goes. Fakes. Drives in. Passes back to Boutte. That's good for the Frenchman. It's been a long time playing in Spain. Now in Turkey. And back. Double comes. Gabo for three. Jami Keen, now Van Beck for three, and that was well short. Long rebound corralled by Kell. It gets it to Boutsiel, who not able to control it. He saves it in bounds, and another opportunity, and this time they pay the price. Not re getting the, the defensive board. And Van Beck energizes. Niners Chemnitz with that three-pointer. Timeout has been called by Bacchus of here college. Well, watch their college come in pretty decent form. Winners of three of the last four in Turkey. And most recent win coming against Galatasaray, a one point win. Tyler Kavanaugh exploding for 26 and 22 in the game before that as well. On April 6, that was against Besiktas. Uh, but they did have a very a real lean spell from January 15th through February 10th where they lost several games in a row. And they seem to have righted the ship. Here's Kel. Spins. Goes right up and almost scores on Van Beck. He's going to settle for a couple of free throws. Axel Boutte makes the first, or Kel makes the first, excuse me. Having been encouraged by Boutte. 
moments. Falling behind this Niners, Kim just came on the road. You don't want to dig yourself such a hole. It's going to really put you behind the eight ball, but right now it's a four point deficit. Here's Kesha Kajabi Keen driving in unsuccessfully. Good work, Lansdowne getting to the basketball, putting it up and in. Good work, DeAndre. Number nine is fine. He thrills them. Drills him everywhere, wherever he's playing. Boutte from deep. And Boutiel competing with Richter. Richter able to save it in bounds to his teammates. Yebo looks down low, gets it to Richter. Richter says, I've got it. Good work, Cavadon, knocking it out of his hands. Shot clock winding down. It's going to be DeAndre Lansdowne time. He puts it up, and again, another opportunity. Kajabi Keen puts it up and in. He must have thought, should I, or should we take some more time off the clock? Uh, but as it is, Boxes here College will, I'm guessing, hold it for the last shot. Oh, what's the L? Really struggling. Ball goes off his hands and out of bounds. So another opportunity for Niners Kimmins who lead it 26 to 18. So Kajami Kane inbounds it. They got to get it up the floor quickly. And foul out on the perimeter. They have one to give. So they do say. Shooting and he goes to the line for a couple of free throws. I think there's like a, less than a second left on the clock. Like point one. Uh, Kajami Keen makes the first. And the second. So gave him the three because he was putting it up from deep. Huge, huge call at the end of this first quarter. And remembering that Botches here College had turned it over when the ball went off of UCL's hands and out of bounds. So just a, a disastrous finish to that opening quarter. Niners Kendits landing some blows. They lead it by 11 points. It's 29-18, Niners Kidman's on top of Bachelor Sahir College at the end of one. Well, Tony Taylor has eight points for Botches here at college, but that's about it for them. Nobody else is really clicking yet. And meanwhile, for Niners Kendits, uh, they're spreading the points around. Garrett with a couple of threes. He's got six points, five points for Kajami Keen, four for Usman Kribali, 
And then Richter, Uguak, Bambeck, and Lansdowne all with three points. Gabo has two. And you know that Rodrigo Pastore must be thrilled to see the balance scoring. The second quarter action underway. Here's Kajambi Keen. Ball batted out of bounds or blocked out of bounds. Kajambi Keen inbounds it to Yebo. Kajambi Keen. Another one for the Canada International, number 10. And it's a 14-point lead. Look out, folks. Botch is here at college. Better write this ship quickly, or this could be a problem. This fast start for Niners. Taylor to Kell. And Beigel misses. Offensive rebound, Kavanaugh. Got to go up quickly. Shot clock about to expire. He does get it up. Uh, Yebo with the rebound. And Yebo showing his full array of skills. Gets to the line for an and one. And you were talking about a player that is coming off the bench tonight. Oh boy, I'm not sure the referee saw his left elbow not sure if they would have called a foul if they had seen that it's Ahmed Yilmaz very impressive uh, backup center in the game guarding him but uh, Radoncic alarm bells definitely ringing over on that bench and back in Istanbul Bacchester College in trouble trailing by 17 points Tony Taylor, he's got eight points. Drives in, puts it up, and Radonjic's asking for a foul, to asking for the whistle to blow for, for Taylor. Just looking for anything he can get right now. Kavanaugh lands down. And you look like you look at this Niners Kimmis team right now, and it looks like they're going in for the kill. Beigel for three. Good rebound. Kavanaugh just scrapping away, trying to get anything he can get right now. And he is fouled. The Lithuanian referee says he is going to the line. That was Garrett taking no prisoners. Whistled for the foul. And Kavanaugh, remember, came in shooting better than 91%. He was one of two on his first trip to the line tonight. He cuts it to 16. Now the deficit is 15. Botches here at college need. They've got to play the long game, knowing that there's going to be a whole other game to go, that second leg, but you can't put yourself behind the eight ball in the first game. You've got to be competitive. Here is Lance down. Oh boy, he had a wide open layup. Now Taylor is going to put it up from the stripe. Good work, Ahmed. Now Goop Beigel missing. And they are really struggling right now. Yebo throws it out of bounds. Back over to Botches in here at college. So Yebo and Kajami Keen has been really good. He's going to go out. Phil Scrub returns to the lineup 
Yomas is out. Butiel also comes back in. And Egehan Arna has checked into the game. There's Kavanaugh driving. And when you need to get a good shot, get the ball into the hands of Kavanaugh. He understands the situation. It's get your feet wet time. It's try to take advantage of mismatches. Whatever you do, at least get to the free throw line. And remember what we talked about. He had some big games. His last couple of games, 22 and 26 points in Turkey. Here he is at the line, makes the first. Came in averaging 14.9 points per game in this competition. He only had four points in one of the games against Varese and 15 in the other. So he wasn't the most influential from a scoring standpoint. Kavanaugh, 30 years of age, makes both free throws. Definitely a really good player from his you know, from his time at Novo Tenerife. They thought really highly of him. Van Beck takes it deep, leans over, and Bruciel gets it over to Scrub. Arna thought about it and elected not to put it up. Luciel battling for position. Here it is, a shot from the corner, and that is good. And that was a three. And just like that, Bochester College showing some explosiveness. Coming back into it, and it's Berke Jandon knocking it down. Taylor finding his teammate, getting the assist. And it's a 10-point ten ten game. Look at this again. Jandon is definitely a threat from deep. Jandon, in fact, was just one of five in the semifinals from three-point range. And he didn't attempt a three in the quarters, but before that, uh, he did have one second-round game where he was three of five. That was his only game where he had multiple threes, so probably he's not going to beat you with a bunch of three balls, but you never know. The Europe Cup final, first leg here in Chemnitz, Germany. And Luciel with the rebound. from downtown uh, Garrett. Garrett from deep. And the scrap for the rebound. You can see the physicality going up a little bit for Botches here at college. They look like they're wide awake now. This time his shot challenged Jandon with the rebound. Defensively, Bochester College look like a completely different team right now. So 
Well, they dodged a bullet that time, Chemnitz. Going down and getting fouled by Buziel. And Richter, a pretty good attempt at the block by Buziel. Tough call on him, I think. He's going to go out. This is the first. So Richter makes one of two coming up on the midway point of this first this uh excuse me second quarter taylor had the great start trying to reassert himself goes in oh boy that was big time well you got to really applaud bajazir college because they have definitely picked it up a notch it up from the elbow and there's the follow from Garrett of course it is so box out Garrett easier said than done he is a fighter Gonna come back in, Taylor. Articulating something to Porcinitas, the Greek referee who gives them the basketball. 4:29 remaining in the second quarter, and a foul called as they were trying to inbound the basketball on Lansdowne. So that's a technical free throw. Oh, no, excuse me, it's not. There was a technical foul that was called on Radoncic. Wow. Well, that's a big call. So he's got to be careful. He doesn't want to get another one, or he'll be uh, getting an early shower. Kavanaugh, meanwhile, comes out. He's been the player of the game. He's got the three pointer, cuts it back to a nine point game. Kavanaugh, he has eight points and seven rebounds. down he has got some hops
Taylor back outside. Arna. And battle for the ball comes up into the hands of Yabo. Long way to the left corner, finds Lansdowne, and Niners slow it up. Now Yabo has it. Spins, turns, goes to work, and he's going to the line. called on Tyler Cavanaugh. That's why he had that reaction. He was definitely moving and there was definitely contact. First is good for Yabo, who's played in 12 games this season. 10.4 points, 5.3 rebounds. Shot his free throws, 72.7%. A little flat on the free throw release, not much arc. But if it works, that's all that matters. And it worked that time, he made both. Here's scrub it up dub gets in, back outside, Kavanaugh for three. And the rebound, the quick outlet to Kajami Keen, coming up on the three minute mark now here in the first half. back in the game trying to stick with lands down Yebo for three and Boutte comes up with a basketball the long rebound had to go down for it there's plenty of quality in this uh, five on the court right now for Boxes here College Kavanaugh takes it deep and Yebo with the reach and the foul puts Kavanaugh on the line and and really, the way they've called it at the other end, you got to make that call. Although, I have to say, definitely Kavanaugh initiated the contact there. Richter back in, look at him go. Silky smooth. That's a valuable reserve. Well, he's starting tonight. Three-pointer for Boutte, no good. Kavanaugh with the rebound, and Kavanaugh's doing it all right now. He is going to the free throw line. There he is battling away. I mean, you're just not going to get away with that not being called reaching in from behind, even if you do get all ball. So Kavanaugh putting his team on his back right now and keeping them in contention, makes both free throws. And he could very well have a double-double. He's got eight rebounds to go with his 12 points. Kajami Keen misses, and Boutte knocks it over to Kavanaugh. Oh, 
Credit Kavanaugh with the rebound, but now they turn it over and the dunk for last down. And you know that is toxic right there, losing possession like that right at midcourt. It just almost always leads to a fast break opportunity and layup. So timeout, Botches here, College. Minute and a half remaining in the first half of the first leg of the FIBA Europe Cup final between Niners Chemnitz and Bochester College. Niners Chemnitz up 13 points. Brute takes it deep, puts it up, and the box out was there from Ongway. That's fake into the corner. And Lansdowne misses Ongway with the rebound. John McKean gets in. Oh boy, he's a machine, isn't he? You don't want to have to guard him. You're going to have to work extremely hard. He is just a dynamo. 40 seconds to go in the first half. And Scrub sizing up the possibilities. It's interesting, front, you know, Phil Scrub was in that Fryport Skyliners team that won that title back in 2016. So he knows all about German basketball and what it's like to play in arenas like this. It's uh, Kavanaugh was fouled, so not the person you want to put on the line. If you're Niners Kimnitz. both final 25 seconds and Richter goes in fouled going up so free throws yeah that was always going to be a foul Arna once he left his feet so Richter does not shoot free throws well shoots in the 50s And then shooting 54.8% in the, in the uh, FIBA Europe Cup.
So, Bachelor College, I'm assuming, will hold it for the last shot. Shot clock is off. So, just ignore that 10 in that last little part of the line there. And good defense. Lockhart. Scrub puts it up deep. Not the shot they were looking for. So, a very, very tough first half for Bachelor College. And probably could not have gone much better. For Niners Chemnitz, they lead it 50 to 36 at halftime. Chemnitz led it by as many as seven. Thank you. 
Niners came just leading it 50 to 36 over Botches of Hair College in the first half, or rather at halftime here, the opening leg of the final of the Phoebe Europe Cup. Leading the way for Niners Kidness is uh, Kenji Kajami Keen with 11 points, seven for Kevin Yebo, seven for Jonas Richter, eight for Jeff Garrett, and seven for DeAndre Lansdowne. Rodrigo Pastore, I would imagine, is pretty satisfied with how that first half went, but he knows better than any anybody there is a long way to go not just in this game but in this final remember the second leg will be played next week in istanbul so that'll be hostile territory 14 points for tyler kavanaugh and nine rebounds leading the way for boxes of here at college they've got to get some other guys to step up uh, but in terms of depth strength of roster you have to say on the evidence of that first half uh that advantage belongs to Niners Chemnitz. Especially when you look at their bench outscoring the bench of Bochester College 28 to 7. Action underway. Bochester College with first possession. Boutiel gets it outside to Boutte. Taylor fakes the pass, drives in, puts it up, and draws the foul. So he is going to the line. Tony Taylor started well in the first half. Remember, Tony Taylor had the, the eight quick points. He's got 10 as he goes to the line. Some of the Niners, Kimnitz fans, slow getting back into their seats. Better hurry up. They're going to miss some important, uh, important plays. So Tony Taylor goes to 12 points. And that is also the deficit 12 points. Niners on top, 50 to 38. Niners Chemnitz with Uguak fouled by Mohamed Baigul. Lansdowne, he's been a problem. Garrett also has been a problem. Or excuse me, that's Kribali missing. And Lockhart missing from the left corner. So a little opportunity here early on for Boston here College to shave, shave that deficit. They've already taken two points off. CL fouled by Uguak. Expression a lot tonight from Buciel. Taylor. Gets it back from Butte. Likes this matchup. Taylor puts it up and in. Boy, he is playing well tonight. 14 points. Oh boy. 
and Lansdowne gets right into the paint. Nobody there to meet him at the rim. Taylor again drives and he met some resistance. Good defense, good team defense. And Ukwak is just uh, enormous. Uh, his guard spot in there with that rim protection. Ball goes out of bounds. Back over to Botches here College. Look at this. Nobody anywhere close to DeAndre Lansdowne. Kavanaugh takes it into the corner. They pass it. Pute. Baigul. Team from Turkey. So the foul, Kavanaugh. That's three. Not a good development. Hutziel also has three fouls, and I think it's pretty obvious. Again, the, the roster depth for, for Niners Chemnitz is superior. And if you take both Kavanaugh and Butziel off the court for long stretches, it's going to be a problem for Botches here College. Just keeping this close. Butziel just has two points so far. Hasn't really made much of an impact. Garrett. Missing it from deep. Good rebound, Boutte. He's only got three. They've really kept their big guns in check. And there's Boutteau working his way to the free throw line. So Boutteau now 31 years of age. And he's big, strong, 2.07 meters in height, 6 feet 9 inches. He can shoot it. Hales from France. And probably it's the French players that they've got to get going more than anybody right now. Boutiel and Axel Boutte. And Bout Boutiel makes both free throws. Let's see if that gets him going. Ugwak missing it from deep. And what a rebound from Garrett. He was boxed out. He was still able to reach in and take the basketball away. Richter catches, turns, and scores. Well spotted. DeAndre lands down. Boutte back to Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh going up against Garrett, passes back outside to Boutte, who finally puts the shot up, hustles, gets it back. Boutiel uses his girth, his size, and powers his way up for the layup. again lands down oh boy the basketball gods smiling all Niners Chemnitz getting the friendly bounce Spiegel open misses it doesn't look good look like maybe it was affected a little bit by Tyler own way here's Ugwak for three and he misses with CL hustles not able to save it in bounds to Boutte. And it's just little things 
the second opportunities the Niners are coming up with and are making all the difference in the world because they're usually cashing in when they get it back. Here he is, lands down, and this time they do not cash in. And the ball thrown out of bounds. Midway through the second quarter, Boxes here College really struggling against this Niners Kimbis team. Now, all the way. Richter goes up, little jump hook, and another one gets away. This one from Kavanaugh. And timeout has been called by Radonjic, and I'm guessing the first thing he's going to say is, guys, we've got to be able to rebound the basketball, or it's going to be a long final. Niners Kimnitz punishing them. Watch their college need to really improve that focus, especially as it relates to getting rebounds. And no cheap turnovers. Kell comes back into the game. John Denton also back in. Taylor able to throw it over the D, gets it to Butziel. just lost it and that's what I'm talking about I mean it's just they can't get out of their own right they can't get out of their own way right now we tell you one of his one of the best players in this team started to make his move before he had the ball John McKean, his pass batted away. He gets it over to Wesley Van Beck. And watches it here, able to avoid further damage. Taylor drifts in, throws the lob. Uh, Butziel lays it up and in. Butziel definitely has uh, flipped the switch. Can they continue to get the basketball, get the rock to the big fella? Because Johnny Keane, and can they get some stops? Well, Butiel affected there, but again, lack of rebounding costs botches to here college. The offensive glass has been a real problem. Well, Kemnitz, when they're getting the offensive rebounds.
They've given away 14 offensive rebounds. Pointer and finally something goes for Axel Boutte. Bam back. Fades gets it to Richter who travels. time gets it over to Boutte who drives in patiently puts it up he's gonna get to the line and then one and all of a sudden Axel Boutte is alive and kicking Such a good spell here you know, the last couple of possessions or last few possessions boxes at college have now got the deficit to single digits. Beck for three. Oh boy. Uh, I think they give him a two. Foot was on the line. So it could have been worse, but nevertheless, that stops the run. And you look at Phil Scrub bringing it up the court. Boutiel takes it down low, takes the bump, no call. Goes for the rebound. He wanted the foul. He doesn't get it. Van Beck. And quickly the other way. Tony Taylor bounce pass. And Boutte lays it up and in. Back to a nine-point deficit. Here's Yevo. Back to the basket, and the double comes. He didn't see Boutte. Leads to the turnover. And how quickly things can change. Jandon wide open, he's a good shooter. They don't pass it to him. Boutte feeling it, takes the layup. And it's a seven point game, and Pastore has to call a timeout. What a comeback for Botches to hear college. now with 13 points. Let's listen to Pastore. Okay. 
63-56. Niners Chemnitz were in command, but now Bacha Sahara College have loosened their grip on proceedings. Van Beck spins, steps back, puts it up and knocks it down to three-pointer. Nothing better coming out of a timeout than to see your team go out and score a bucket like that. And Boutiel takes it deep. And the contact, the foul on Garrett. Excuse me, that's on Kruvali. So Kruvali with the foul, Boutiel going to the line. Boutiel and Boutte coming to life in this third quarter. Boutte with 13 points. And Boutier goes out. So he's going to sit down for a minute while Beigel comes in. So they get a little bit smaller. To see how, them impacts, how it impacts them down low. And no rim protection as Van Beck goes in. defense right at the end. Nevertheless, Niners Chemnitz lead it by just 10. They're outscored 22 to 18 in the third quarter. 68-58, Niners Chemnitz on top of Bacchus Hair College. Seven to twenty-three, better percentage from deep. And again, it's uh, Kavanaugh, Taylor, now Boutte, and don't forget Boutiel has started to make his presence felt down low for boxes in here college. Boutiel, ten points, three rebounds, still just with three fouls. The fourth quarter action is underway, and this is a crucial quarter. I mean, it's crucial for Boxes here College not to let this lead get any bigger, and they do. So Kravali comes out and hits the jump shots 12, uh, but they don't want to leave here trailing by more than 10 points tonight for that second leg in the Phoebe Europe Cup final. The second leg will be played next Wednesday in Istanbul. And Boutte, boy, just, he has been a machine in this second half. Picks right up where he left off in the third quarter. And Kubali fouled.
So that will not count. Rute now has a game high of 15 points, but he was whistled for the foul there. And that's one of the issues right now. No real post players with Bout with uh, Boutiel out of the game. Okay, now Kavanaugh's in, comes up, forces the steal. Uh, good job, Kavanaugh. And driving in and getting pinned. Great rim protection as Boutte took it all the way. Boutte thought he had a layup. Well, he saw the Garrett come over and support Kravali. Defense picking up now for Niners Kendits. Kavanaugh guarded by Ongwe. And waited too long. Shot clock violation. Starting to become a little bit more influential. Gets it over to Lansdowne. Now backing his way up. Kribali over to Van Beck. That's short. Huh. That has been the story of the game for Bochester College. They just can't get a defensive rebound. Takes it deep, now passes to the corner. Garrett, back to Lansdowne. Lansdowne bumped by Jandon. Pass Kribali has been the factor in this second half. Boutte from deep off the back of the iron and back base of the backboard. Ball thrown out of bounds. Niners Kimnitz losing just twice all season in the Phoebe Europe Cup, although the second leg of their semifinal, they lost at home. They lost here 82-73, but remember they had already won the first leg by 25 points. Foreze were the other team to beat them. The team that made it to the semifinals and lost to Bochester College. It's Butiel getting it deep. Looking for a foul. Nothing called. Lands down, avoids the contact, hands it off, and Garrett goes up for the flush.
74-60. Niners go back to the 14-point lead they had at halftime. Again, Bochester College will have the home court advantage next week. But they don't want to have a mountain to climb. It's okay if you don't win this first leg. You just don't want to lose it by so many points that you don't give yourselves a chance in that second leg. Here in the Messe Chemnitz, the rockin' and rollin' club here in Germany. Cheering on their team. Taylor, bounce pass. There he goes, and Boussiel goes up for the dunk. Two-handed style. Now lands down. Look at his options. Hands it off to Van Beck. Scrub goes down. No call. Van Beck for three. Count that. Well, it's too early to call that a dagger, but that certainly has uh, eased some of the tension over there on that Niners Kendis bench. Oh, so it looks like Tony Taylor's turned his ankle. Ooh, that's the worst when looks like he's been able to walk it off. Nowhere to go for Boutte as Richter comes up. Somebody's got to be open. Kavanaugh has it. Oh, boy. Great read. Uwak stealing the basketball. The pass. Lead is 15. Uwak. Goes off one foot. Now Boutte quickly. And again, great work. This time Garrett. Hands up on defense. Just seems like uh, Niners playing with a little bit more energy tonight. More of a sense of urgency. it off and offensive foul Gets it, Garrett. And the pass intended for Richter goes out of bounds. Three point look, Boutte and he had that great second half going, but really since it's early in the fourth quarter, he's lost his way a little bit. Here he is, catching it in the paint, turning, and there he is, back on track. Boutte with the rebound. time in European competition. Niners came this and boy has it been a memorable one. Tony Taylor drives scrub. Can't get anything to go tonight. Niners as their name suggests founded in 1999 and an unsportsmanlike foul 
has indeed been called a little too excessive. Tony Taylor. Well, they should probably look at it. With 420 remaining. So they are going to review it. They've called the unsportsmanlike. And now they're going to go examine it to see if they want to remove it and call it a normal foul. Watch again, right there. I don't think it looks like it's an unsportsman like from that angle. But from that angle, it does look like it. So they've kept it. So two free throws and possession. I guess they're lucky that it was Richter who was the victim. He only makes one of the two, true to his uh, free throw shooting percentage in this competition. Shoots in the 50s, takes it up to a 14 point lead. I think for Bochester College to really give themselves a chance of winning this FIBA Europe Cup final, they need to lose by no more than 10 points tonight. And Richter travels. So after it's all said and done, they just gave away one point on this trip down the floor. Asian Kajami King. <laughs> Canada on Canada right there. And Kajami King is uh, not the guy that you want guarding you because he just doesn't give up. But that time he did commit the foul. Taylor gets the contact and earns a trip to the line. Yeah, that, I mean, already reaching out and getting him his left hand on the right shoulder of Tony Taylor. I'm not sure why Yabo's having to go to Taylor. There must be some talking going back and forth. Ball don't lie. Makes the first. And Taylor misses the second one. Maybe it did lie. And Buziel goes up and gets the rebound. So this could be a very productive trip for Bajasa here college. Let's see how he needs to make both of these to get it back to a 10-point game. Or 11-point game, excuse me. I mean, you just see on this play right here why it's just so important for Buziel to be on the court. Because nobody else in his team has his 
size and uh, skill combination. But even he only makes one of two, so it's a 12 point game. One. Yabo's fired up. But he was doing some talking at the other end. And if you're going to walk the walk, if you're going to talk the talk, you're going to walk the walk. And that's exactly what he did. Extraordinary basket. Put that on the highlight reel. Steps back for three, a short on rebound to Boutte. Boutiel. Boutiel stopped playing like they called a foul. Kavanaugh misses. And Niners Kimnitz with a chance to really kind of lower the boom here at the end of this game. And they were living dangerously. Botches it here at college, but they escape without giving up another bucket. Boutiel, his pass deflected into the hands of Boutte, who was open but misses. 239 remaining. Simply have to put the brakes on this skid. They've got to get some points and want to get that deficit down. Back for three, short. Well, doing him a favor, not taking any time off the clock. Boutte, oh, not able to make it. So I'll have to settle for two free throws. Axel Boutte has, was just patient in the first half, not really forcing his way into it, but I think ultimately he realized he had to get it going for his team to have a chance, and he did. That third quarter, he was outstanding, had an early score in the fourth, and uh, Niners Kenda started locking down on him. Uh, but here he is, starting to make plays again. He's got he's got 19 points, eight rebounds. Back back, another three. Nope. Well, you live by the three, you die by the three. Well, maybe even say that you live by the early three, you die by the early three. No time going off the clock. Taylor. It is a good shot. Another one for Boutte. He's got the hot hand. He's got 21 points and is back to an 11-point deficit. And, well, Boutiel has uh, awoken or has awakened in the second half, and so has Boutte. Goodness me. The only thing I'll say is Niners Chemnitz, I don't think need to be rushing up shots early in the shot clock. I know you 
You want to get a good shot, you want to get some rhythm, but sometimes maybe it's better to take some time off the clock. You see the fans, I think they realize what's going on here. It's an 11 point lead. And again, it's right back in the balance of where Boches here at college now giving themselves a good chance to getting out of here with a decent result tonight. I don't think it's a problem if they lose by six or seven points. And even if they get out of here with a 10 point loss, that's something that they can overcome. And for Niners Kimnitz, they've led by a lot in this game and they don't want to blow it. There's Lansdowne taking it back to a 13 point advantage. And Boutte fouled by Van Beck. Some fans wanting some traveling. But Boutte, who has been terrific has earned another trip to the line. He's got 21 points. He's three of three at the line. And Bajazir College as a team with 29 of 32. That is an extraordinary percentage. I mean, you're talking 90 plus percent. He makes the first. And he makes the second. Wow. So 31 to 34 at the stripe, 91.18% as a team. Lands down, takes it deep. Oh, it goes right at Butiel and scores. seconds left in the game. Boutte gets the bump from Richter and earns another trip to the free throw line. Lands down. Meanwhile, 16 points. He's not far from a triple double. He's got eight assists, seven rebounds. Boutte doing what Boutte does, putting the ball in the basket. That is what he's been doing in the second half. At three points in the first half, and he has got 24 points right now. Now 25. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's why DeAndre Lansdowne has the ball. Scored last time down. Now he's taking some time off the clock. Here's Lance down. Oh. Puts it up from deep. And it looked like they may have gotten away with a push. I'm not sure if they're gonna call it. Talking about botches here at college. So I guess not. Timeout. And they want to hold it for that last shot.
So it's a very interesting time in the game. Niners Chemnitz would, I think they would be happy to get out of here with an 11-point win in game one. And I think Boxer College, even if they lose by 11, they'll give themselves a fighting chance, but they would love to get that deficit closer. And I assume they're going to hold it for one shot. And you have to think that it's going to be Boutte that gets the ball unless they use him as a decoy. Final seconds ticking off the clock. Taylor has it. Oh, it's going to be Tony Taylor that's going to put it up. He does from deep and misses everything. And probably not what they were looking for. You wanted to get Boutte the basketball and let him go to work. But what they didn't want to happen was to give the ball back to Niners Chemnitz to let them go down and increase their lead. So it's 85-74 Niners Chemnitz win the opening leg of the FIBA Europe Cup final at home against Bacha Zahir College. Well, Niners Chemnitz, I think, are definitely good enough to go on the road and protect that 11-point win. They know they can lose by up to 10 points in that second leg and still win the FIBA Europe Cup. They'll try to win it, of course, but Jeff Garrett had it going early on for them. He had 10 points, 16 for DeAndre Lansdowne, 8 assists, 7 rebounds. What a performance for DeAndre Lansdowne. I hear Uguak, three points, has some foul trouble, four fouls. Wesley Van Beck came to life in the second half, 13 points. Kevin Yabo, 12 points and seven rebounds. And Jonas Richter, 12 points. He was just four of eight at the line. And Keisha Kajami Keen, 11 points for him. He was really, really good tonight. And you look at the numbers, three more threes for Niners. Shot it better inside the arc, 22. Had nine more makes inside the arc. And it was the free throw line. Ultimately, they kept Botches here College in it. I mean, they shot it well, 33 of 36, 91%. Boutte, a game high, 25 points in defeat. Taylor, 15. Kavanaugh, 14. Lance down, as I said, 16 points led the way for Niners Chemnitz. And both Richter and Yebo had 12, Van Beck 13. Nine rebounds for Garrett, 10 for Kavanaugh. So he finished with a double-double. He almost had it in the first half, really. Lands down eight assists, which was a game high. And now here's Lansdowne trying to get on the same page with Yabo. So, again, this confirms it. 85-74, Niners Chemnitz win the opening leg of the FIBA Europe Cup against Botches here College. The second leg next week, next Wednesday, 6 p.m. local time in Istanbul. Bacha Zahir College will be at home against Niners Chemnitz needing to win by 12 points. If they're going to lift the title, otherwise Niners Chemnitz can afford to lose that leg uh, by up to 10. One last time from the Messi Chemnitz here in Germany. 85-74, Niners Chemnitz win it over Bacha Zahir College in the first leg of the FIBA Europe.